And welcome back, guys, for some more Euro Truck. All right, last episode, we made a delivery of construction equipment here at this construction site here. Well, more like a quarry than anything else, but let me see. We need to find another job. I didn't see no green icons on the way in, so I guess we gotta find something. Oh, uh, where are we? We're closest to Dartmouth, okay. So let's see if there's anything here. Dortmund or Dartmouth? Dortmund, yeah. Alright, we got lumber, we got logs, and tomatoes. Coal, more construction equipment, pressure tanks, forklifts. We got a couple things here. We got a bunch of stuff here, really. Alright, let's see 11,000, 11,000, 15, 13, 14, 14, 15, 7, 11. 13 and 5. Okay, so we got about two fifteen thousand dollar loads. Got a digger. And we got more diggers. So this one is 427 miles, so and this one is 322. Hmm. I wonder how much these other shorter loads are gonna cost. That was a short one. 14,000 for 229 miles. That's 308. Mm. I think we'll go, might just go ahead and take that 14,000. Yeah, I think that $14,000 load looked the best. Go ahead and take this one. <coughs> All right. Now we just gotta find out where we're picking this thing up from. Right, so let's go to our map. Doesn't show it here yet. I'm assuming it's in there. All right, so let's get going here. This isn't showing anything. As far as I know, there's nothing back there. I don't see anything back there to pick up. It's got to be in the city. I wonder why it doesn't show up on the GPS. bottom there. We do have loads here. Let's see. We don't pick it up here, do we? Let's just check it just to be sure. Yeah, we do pick it up here. There it is. I guess that explains why I didn't show up. The trailer is ready. I'm going to all the way back down there. I don't see anything down there. Further in. This is maybe down further down the road over there. Alright, so let's go further in. Maybe we'll see something. This bump this time. There we go. All right, keep an eye out for some pressure tanks. This is where we were. There's one trailer, but that's not what we're looking for. Go further down. Some 
trailer down here. There's our trailer. Okay, so we'll further in. Six miles. Take us just under six hours. Oh, that was struggling by this hill. Oh, that's a heavy load. Good thing I did get the truck that I have. I've got my own weaker truck. I'm not even sure I would have made it up that hill. Dragon bottom again. Right. There we go. There's the bump. Come on, truck. I know you got the power to lift it. So, like I was saying, just under six hours delivery time. Let's see if we, we gotta go to sleep anytime soon. This little straight section here. Alright, let's check. Be sleeping just under six hours as well. So we might be pushing it to get this thing delivered before we sleep again. I don't know, we'll see. My guess is we're gonna have to sleep first. Section here and take a right, okay. Okay, start slowing it down just a little bit. It's a lot of weight behind us. What the hell are you doing? Jesus. Almost got a head on collision right there. Oh, we need to get that income going up quick. So we're gonna have to increase this company a little bit more. So we can get another truck or two. Get that loan paid off quicker. So I really like to get the loan paid off quick as well. Get it paid off, then I actually have money to spend on trucks and stuff. to just go ahead and get another truck here when we can. You know, i got to upgrade our headquarters first. Uh, 
traffic's gonna be a little slow here, looks like with all these trucks. Big guys in front of us will take the other t direction. Imagine that. So we just paid more money out for gas and stuff. $385 out of our pocket. I don't know how they can't find jobs. Y'all saw that big job list we just had. When we look for this one, I don't see how they don't find one. Hopefully Bujo will have more luck. What he's doing right now. Hopefully, he's already got a job lined up. He's doing it already. All right, so one hundred sixty two miles to go. None of you cut in my lane. Alright. So I gotta sleep in about three and a half hours. Looks like it's gonna be before that. I got four hours left on delivery time. So yeah, we're probably gonna have to find a rest stop first. But I can't really do that though. I don't really have time to sleep. So I sleep is gonna push me past the deadline. How much time is left on the job? Okay, I got 14 hours left on the job. Okay, so yeah, we can't sleep. Just estimated times. Less than four hours now, but we still got the 14 hours left on the actual delivery time. So if we have to sleep, we have time. But I won't try to get there without having to pull over. But we'll see what happens. Pleasant day here in Germany. Just after, well, just before eight thirty at night, we move over here. But judging by the sun, I wouldn't. Say isn't any more past maybe four or five o'clock. But what do I know? So 
dark clouds out here. I don't know if it's going to rain, though. Well, I don't know. I don't think we've had any rain in a little while. A few episodes here. I think it was about two or three episodes ago I had rain. So I guess we are due for some here soon. Haven't had any fog yet, so there's no telling when that stuff's going to hit. eight miles left. We're almost there. It's a pretty quick little trip. It's only a thousand dollars less than what those big long trips were costing. The other one's that is going what overseas again? side so we can't even get to that but he's not yawning yet so we're there's no rush but he should be starting here soon oh, there's a gas and rest right there Just over two more hours delivery time. So it's gonna be cutting it close. If we can get all this in this non-stop trip. Should be coming up here pretty soon. Just about 70 miles out. Yeah, look how high that sun is. I was looking at the wrong clock, never mind. So yeah, I was about right. I'm looking at the ETA time down there for some stupid reason. Yeah, it's just after 6 o'clock. So yeah, I was about right. 4 or 5 in the afternoon. That's why I'm looking at the ETA clock down there. Because it says 1950 now. It said 20-something when I looked at it earlier. So that's where I was getting the time from. Should know by now as many times I've looked at that clock, it's the one on the top right corner. But here we are, less than an hour and a half out. 52 more miles. Looks like we're going to get to all this and without having to stop for sleep. So we'll deliver this. Find a rest stop. Ooh. Oh crap, as soon as I said it. Come on, 48 more miles, you can make this. Slap yourself. Do whatever you gotta do here. I'm too close to have to pull over. Oops, stay in your lane. Come on. Don't start drifting on me.
three more miles. You can make it. Come on. I think he does drift more when he starts getting tired. It does seem to be a little bit harder to stay in a straight line. <sighs> I know, I hear you. There's a rest area right there too. But we will chance it. You got 20 miles left to go. You can do this. If you quit drifting, come on. little bit more. Exit should be right up here. Yep, there it is. I was about to get over, but we'll get blown by over there. Alright, now we'll get over. Traffic here. Slow it down, slow it down. It looks like there's so much more weight back there. It's going to take me a little bit longer to slow down here. Ooh, break, break, break. I know I'm getting tired. I know. Almost there. Come on. Just three miles out. You can do this. Get over away from these people. Drops right. <laughs> oh, Mannheim discovered. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be stopping for any more lines. Come on! Oh, what are you doing? Been doing. Yeah, it was another five hundred or something dollars, whatever it was. I didn't hit him that hard, so it shouldn't have caused any damage to us, really. Maybe one percent, if anything. We're at eight percent already from all the other damage we've had before. Oh, you, why are you hitting brakes that quick? Oh, come on, man. Y'all just saw him just slam on them brakes. As soon as that light turned yellow, he hit brakes. Oh, come on. Did you get out of my way? So it's starting to get a little worse with my tickets and fines. Ugh, spin it, spin it, spin it. Oh, they want me squeezing this little place? Really? <sighs> Alright, I got his mouth for this. You really want me to squeeze in there with this trailer? Get parking. Mm -hmm. Wow, I might have to though. This is this is tight squeeze here. I'm already stuck over there. Yeah, 
we're gonna skip parking on this one. This is gonna be a pain in the butt. We didn't get the bonus for that. That was just way too tight of a thing to try to squeeze into. But anyway, let's see. 10,000, 1,000, 1,000, 5, and another 1,000. Let's cut out the 14,000 minus the, what, 1,000, 2,000 or so for fines. And we leveled up again, so it's another certification for us. So more long distance, more high value. This be another 10% bonus. Fragile is another 10%. Just in time, it'll be another 9%. Long distance, that'd be 15% bonus. I, wonder if, I don't know if these pay anymore though. I don't know what the pay values for those things are. Or I could start going echo driving so I don't spend as much for gas. Which could help us in the long run. And let's, let's start increasing our values, of our loads and stuff. High values, yeah. Upgrades. So we got new wheels. Yeah, looks like it's all new wheels and doorsteps and mirrors and stuff. Stuff I really don't need yet. Stuff I don't have the money to blow on yet. All right, so let's go to our garage. How are we looking? Forty-six percent. How much is it going to cost us to upgrade again? Hundred thousand. So I gotta at least get 100 grand before I can upgrade again. And we're sitting at 74,000, so still gonna take a few more loads. And how are you guys doing? Let's see, drivers. Alright, she didn't find no job, but she has one now. Fuel tanker. So she's bringing in 740 bucks a day. Bujo has pressure tanks. He's got another 11 hours left on his. He's bringing in 1,800 a day, so he's starting to get up there. Rating of 3.3, she's at 2.5, I'm at 1.7 for all the wrecks and stuff I'm getting. So yeah, I'm the head of the company, but I have a, my driving record is horrible <laughs> Com compared to everybody else on, in the squad. So, they're not looking for me for driving tips, that's for sure. But anyway, let's see, we're up to 74 grand. Alright, how much is left on our loan? Nine days paid on that one, eight days paid on that one, so we still got lots left to pay. And we still haven't got no more email. We haven't got an email in a long, long time. But, oh well. Next episode, we'll grab some of load and try to knock some more of this off our debt and everything. Or just get up to 100. So we have to upgrade that garage before we can get another truck. So I don't know yet. Most likely, right I'm going to go, I'm going to go upgrade the garage and for some more trucks it's gonna take us a little while and longer to pay off the loan that way but it means more income if I do it that way too so that's the route I'm gonna go so we'll see how it works but for now we'll end this episode here and next episode we'll like I said we'll grab some more loads and continue doing what we're doing so until then next time guys see ya